this is Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. Now, that was the media's take on Netflix in terms of the overnight drop. Let's take a look at the charts here. And let's begin with the monthly chart. We can see here, and this is three years of monthly data. We can see that if we take the monthly closing high here, and this monthly closing high, and this monthly closing high, we get a straight line, something like that. We can see that, by the way, this is yesterday's close, so it does not reflect the current overnight market drop as far as Netflix is concerned. This is as of yesterday's close. We can see that we're already pointing down before today's market open. We can also see that if we draw a line here on the RSI, looks like we've made these two tops prior to the intraday move or overnight move. And we can see that this was taking place with the RSI showing potential resistance around the 61.8 level on the monthly so give or take just around 61.8 now if you take a look at all data monthly we can see that if we draw a line around here just around the 61.8 level something like that we can see how it gives us some interesting views as far as the big picture monthly chart is concerned a break here in 2004 a couple of resistances here of the highs there you can see them because now they are squeezed in there resistance here on and on and on we can see ultimately those are breakout quality breakout at that here and prices took off we see a break here another break and I'm just picking out the major breakpoints for now which is this area here and of course we can see the opposite is major recapturing of the area here so you can see what I'm getting at here is this is where either we were gonna break out or we we're gonna show resistance and as we know right now coming into today's session looks like this is a double top around that blue line and with today's move that just does confirm that that double top resistance on the blue line was suggesting movement to the downside now if we take a look also at the weekly chart prior to, to this morning's open take this weekly closing high and this weekly closing high and draw a line connecting the two you end up with a line that gives us the recent closing high in fact let me change that a little bit So you end up with a line like that. Notice that the line makes contact on this weekly closing high there from three weeks ago. And as of yesterday, this was already showing resistance. Another way of addressing this is taking a look at the RSI. And we can see if we draw a line connecting recent RSI highs on the weekly. This was also touching the recent resistance level coming into July. Keep in mind, one of the reasons why we might be seeing a major drop in price is because we are dropping below RSI 50. We know that as you slash below or above RSI 50, you tend to have a reaction or move. If it's below, you tend to have a good size move to the downside. For example, we can see a drop of some size here on this weekly drop. We have a movement back above that line. here for this re-entry for a big move so we can see with this move as of now it is suggesting that with a drop below RSI 50 this down move is gonna stick at the very least for this week now we can also see that if we go to the daily we can see that if we take this price range here something like that we can see that this has been an area of resistance going back to the gap down here. There's a gap right there. And this has been a trouble spot. Stock's been struggling to hold above this level. So even before to the drop overnight, this level had already been rejected. 
as of the beginning part of July. And also the daily RSI does show that that there has been recent resistance around this RSI 61.8 level. And hence the drop overnight is consistent with what the charts were suggesting. This is a hindsight look at what Netflix looked like before the drop. Maybe we can learn something from it. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-S-E-S. Yes. Ooh.